The battle concluded, and miraculously, Diana, the first goddess of the destruction of Universe 7, emerged. She now serves under the orders of Mirai, the goddess of all. However, Vados and Kefla were concerned. They had witnessed the potential outcome without Diana's intervention. Undoubtedly, they needed to contribute more in the future. Even the angel pondered about her capabilities. Upon reaching Kranoa's house, she awaited them in the garden, wearing a serious expression after witnessing the events against Moro. Welcome guys. Vados san you can leave those who are still unconscious on the lawn. She kindly instructed the angel, who complied as directed by the Kaishin of the time. Goku asked in a curious tone, sitting on the floor with Kefla beside him. Vegeta stood on the sidelines, arms crossed, awaiting Kaishin's words. Off? Krono aside, if I had known she would come, I wouldn't have sent them to call. Yes, I've known her since I began as a postulant to the goddess of destruction of Universe 7, a long time ago, before the restructuring of that universe, she nostalgically responded, recalling her early days as the Kaishin of time. Restructure. What about the universe? Goku inquired, struggling with the first word. Restructuring, Tisk. Vegeta commented, annoyed at his rival's pronunciation. Cough cough, Vadis coughed. Kranoa, that's confidential. Even for the gods of destruction, the angel exclaimed seriously and with an authoritarian tone. Kranoa dedicated a small smile to the angel before responding. But they are right. Also, since I am the Kaishin of time, I always found myself involved with Universe 7. She sighed while shaking her head. Turning her gaze back to the Saiyans, she continued, Universe 7, as they know it, used to be very different. It was once full of life, with many races that no longer exist today. However, everything changed when the demons declared war, a harsh battle that we won at great cost, including the destruction of several universes that never managed to recover. She bowed her head, surprising everyone. Impossible, Vegeta exclaimed, surprised by Kaishin's revelation. But, those universes couldn't be recovered by Xeno-sama, or someone with the dragon's super spheres. Kefla inquired, somewhat dismayed. No, because the person who destroyed those universes by absorbing them to recover their energies is someone even beyond Xeno-sama. The demon goddess, Vadis concluded seriously. A portal suddenly opened in front of them, and Diana emerged. It is forbidden to talk about her, she commented with an authoritarian tone, causing the entire Kaishin kingdom to tremble and frightening the three Saiyans. Diana-sama, Vadis whispered, bowing her head in understanding. Honestly, those timelines were chaos. But, to avoid causing more problems, I left them as they were, and only undid everything destroyed by Moro, the white-haired goddess explained. That means Kakarado will not return to his original time, Vegeta commented, looking at Diana seriously. Well, from what I could see, that will be very difficult, but if you miss your friend you can visit him whenever you want. Just ask Wis. Diana replied in a mischievous tone. I would never miss this insect, and he's not my friend. We are only rivals, Vegeta exclaimed with a small blush, regaining his composure. Haha <laughs> don't worry Vegeta, even if I'm not around anymore, I trust that you will become stronger and protect the earth from any threat, Goku exclaimed joyfully, placing a hand on the shoulder of the Saiyan prince. Of course, I will become stronger, and I hope you do the same because you and I have a pending encounter. Is it clear, insect? Vegeta retorted, taking Goku's hand off his shoulder. Take it for granted, Vegeta. One day we will have our fight, which will decide which of the two is the strongest. Goku finished with a small challenging smile. Well, everything is very nice, but shouldn't they wake them all up? Kefla asked, pointing to those who were unconscious on the ground, making everyone laugh. Several weeks later, somewhere in the multiverse, a figure with numerous injuries walked towards a throne where a person was seated. Black, where the heck did hearts go? The purple guy on the throne asked. Don't bother, Fu. Hearts was killed by the new goddess of the whole, Diana, she exclaimed, falling to her knees due to the wounds. Damn. Fu exclaimed, giving a blow to his throne and then standing up furiously. I told him not to try to provoke her. And what happened to you? He asked in front of the injured god. Tisk. We caught his daughter, the goddess of destruction of Universe 7, in a temporary prison with a seat of the universe and finally beat Son Goku. But, a brat appeared and transformed into a kind of warrior with terrifying power and defeated me, Black finished, starting to breathe agitatedly. A brat you say? Let me see, Fu commented, taking out a dagger to witness the battle where Black had been defeated. I understand. I never thought another of them would appear, he said, standing up with a serious face. Another of them? The goddess kneeling on the floor questioned. Fu walked back to his throne, saying, Yes, 
The brat who defeated you is a spirit, comma, beings from another world that appear for unknown reasons, settling on his throne with a serious and contemplative face. Spirits, how many are there? He commented as he stood up, and his left hand began to glow green, starting to heal his wounds. With the new brat, there are three. The first who appeared 30 years ago, one with the ability to create things, and another with the ability to control time. Mkama, this girl seems to have the ability to increase power. I suspect, Fu commented with one hand on his chin. Power? Creation time and power? Tisk, how stupid. But what will you do with them? Will you tell the demon lords? Black asked seriously. Ha ha, are you an idiot? We shouldn't notify them of insignificant things. Just thinking about Lilith and Lucifer's scolding makes me nervous, Fu said before returning to his contemplative state. I'll think of something. You can retire, but don't do anything stupid, the villain concluded. Ha ha, remember that I'm a god. So until next time, Black finished, turning around, and leaving using the ring of time. A god defeated by a human, how pathetic, was Fu's thought. 